Gender violence is a vitally important issue which affects all members of a community. It is a problem which continues to seriously affect a large part of the population and is still ingrained in society. Recognizing the signs of gender violence is imperative, which is why we want to show you the theory on the cycle of gender violence by Lena Walker. The dynamics of intrafamily violence exists as a cycle, which goes through three main phases. Phase one, accumulating tension. As the relationship progresses, tension increases between the couple as does individual stress. There is an increase in aggressive behavior, more often towards objects than the other person. For example, slamming doors, throwing objects and breaking things. The couple tries to modify their behavior to avoid violence, but the physical and verbal abuse continues. Often, the abused party begins to feel responsible, while the abuser becomes obsessively jealous and tries to control everything they can. This phase differs depending on the case, and the duration can be days, weeks, months, or even years. Phase 2. Acute episode of violence. The accumulated tension in the relationship needs to find a release. The abuser makes a choice about their violence. They have a deliberate desire to hurt the other person and make a conscious decision about how they do it. Tension and stress are thus released by the abuser as a result. Phase 3. Stage of calm, repentance or honeymoon. This stage is characterized by a period of calm, non-violent. This stage is characterized by a period of calm, non-violence, and displays of love and affection. It may happen that the abuser takes part of the responsibility for their actions, leading to hope in the situation and that it might change in the future. They may act as if nothing has happened. They promise to seek help or not to do it again. If there is no intervention and the relationship continues, there is a great possibility that the violence and its severity will increase. The abuser does not heal by themselves. They need suitable treatment. If the abused person stays, the cycle will repeat with increasing violence. And here is our video for today. If you think that you or someone you know may be in the cycle of violence, it is vital they go to social services and seek support from trusted friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos to come and we'll see you next time.